Oh, we're quite zoomed in. That's ominous. <laughs> How's that? Mm. Okay, that's better. I can. No, I'm not. No, I'm not happy with that either. Hi. the most disgusting face ever. Hi, welcome back to another video. Hopefully you're all doing really well. Hopefully you're having a great day wherever you are. Um, so I know what you're thinking. You've seen the title and you're like, Brad, what have you been doing? Like, where have you been? What's happening? Are you okay? The answer is, I honestly don't know, right? So I did art pop. So I'm kind of moving my way backwards, to be honest. I haven't also heard Born This Way. So I said in that reaction, and I'll say in this one, basically when it comes to Gaga, I really started like listening to all her stuff when she released Joanne. Up to that point, I'd only really, really listened to like the singles, so, like the popular songs. Do you know what I mean? So this is why we're here today, because I've only heard the popular songs from this era. Married and I, I've heard Born This Way, obviously, Judas, You and I, and Edge of Glory. So I've heard five of the tracks. There's 12 more that I haven't heard, so there's 12 today that we'll, we'll be fully reacting to. If you're new to this series, this is basically something I started so that I can basically go back through people's catalogues or whatever and listen to some of their earlier stuff that I might not have heard, or it's basically any sort of highly rated album that you guys suggest or that I just know of that people bummed when it first came out and I, I've just never listened to the whole thing. Now this is the international special edition version, that's a long title, so I won't be doing any of like the different versions of the songs, any of the remixes, won't be doing them today, it's just strictly going to be the original songs. So if you're excited to see what I think of Bond this way, please do keep on watching and if you want to, don't know why you wouldn't, potentially subscribe, it's a fun time. Let's get into it. First track, Marry the Night, I've heard it. I bum it. It's been a while since I've heard it, so let's hear it again and let's bop. Marry the nice. Marry the night. Oh, I'm gonna marry. Ooh. So that was Marry the Night. Did I just have a great old time? Am I now sweating? Yes. We all know Marry the Night is a banger. You didn't need me to tell you, do you know what I mean? Next track, Born This Way. Once again, I've heard it, I love it. Let's fucking go. This has got to be one of her best songs ever. Battery this beginning. H-I-M. Fuck off! This bit. Don't be a drag, just be a queen. Whether you're broke or evergreen. Your black white face, your lacquer your aureole. We love an inclusive queen from the get-go, we really do. She's been that bitch, she is that bitch, and she will always be that motherfucking bitch. Period. I love Born This Way, but y'all knew that. You knew that I would have. Next track is a track we've not heard, is Government Hooker. My god, these titles. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, hi, vocal. Go. So I'm thinking this is once again a jab towards like businessmen and just men in general I think. Men in power. Which has kind of always been Gaga's thing and I live for it. Fuck yeah. Let's take down the patriarchy. <laughs> I sound like I'm in fucking Hunger Games, don't I? To freedom! Anyway, let's carry on. This is interesting so far. It's not what I expected. This is so interesting to me. As long as I'm your hooker, back up and turn around. As long as I'm your hooker, hands on the ground. As long as I'm your hooker, back up and turn around. As long as I'm your hooker, get down. Yeah, I think it's like like a jab towards like men who treat women as like a sexual object. I think that's kind of where we're going here and I'm massively here for that message. Fuck yeah. This one like take, took a minute, but I'm kind of getting into the groove of it now, okay? <laughs> What's happening? This bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so government hooker took me a minute. 
right. But I, I, I think that maybe it's just like me getting back, getting used to what we're going to get with this album, I think. Um, because by the end, I got the vibe, I got the structure, and I'm here for it. I love the part. I think it's probably the hook where she's just like, Government hooker. I love that bit. So that's kind of all I've got to say on Government Hooker. I think it's interesting. Is it my favourite Gaga song? Nah. But she's fun. She's quirky. She's very Gaga back this time. Do you know what I mean? Next track, I've heard it. Judas. Now, I said Judas then. Judas. She's an absolute banger. Let's go. Let's hear it again. Oh, oh I'm in love with Judas. Judas. Ready? <laughs> Judas is that bitch. I think she's like really one of my most top, top Gaga songs, especially from this era. Like, fuck me, I think, whew. Jeez Louise. Okay, let's move on. I need to, God, I'm sweating. Next track, track number five, Americano. In Florida shorts, I sweet as Okay. So that was an intro, right? Just thought I'd say that, thought I'd get that out of the way. Great, great intro. Paint a picture in my mind. I'm ready. Have I heard this? <laughs> ah, right. I've actually heard this one. <laughs> Woo! I didn't know I'd heard it. I don't think I've heard it much, but I've definitely heard it once or twice. Oh my god, absolute banger! How I love you. How I love you. I do love the French vibe of this song. I think it's iconic and I think it's so, so fun. Actually, it gives me Mexican. Maybe it's Mexican, but what language do they speak in Mexico? Mexican? Say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. No, Spanish? I don't... Oh, God, I'm so bad at geography. <laughs> Spanish. So Spanish. Did I say Spanish from Mexico? I like the Spanish vibe. Like, it gives me very Mexican. Like, I, imagine, I can imagine wearing like one of those big fucking mass massive hats and just being like... <laughs> I love it. I think it's so, so fun. Anyway, moving on. Next track is track number six. We're already on track number six. Hair. Now, I definitely haven't heard this one, I don't think. Oh, okay, bitch. Yes, miss bitch, get them told. I know that your parents, and obviously we have the utmost respect for parents, but you've got to love your family. You don't always have to... What's the, what's the line? Oh, you've got to love your family. You don't always have to like them. I think that's the thing. Be who you want to be, babes. Whether your parents tell you otherwise or not. Fuck them. I need to get the lyrics up because I low-key can't understand what she's saying. Guys, I like this. I feel like so far all of the tracks have had quite a punchy production. Whenever I'm dressed cool, my parents put up a fight. And if I'm not a hot shot, mum will cut my hair at night. Oh no, if I'm hot shot, not if I'm not. Oh, so if she gets a bit too big for her boots, her mum's like, you know what, fucking I'll teach you, snip snip bitch. Oh, okay. Oh, this one's fucking cute. Okay. I love that she's just like, yeah, I do want these things. And do you want to know why I want them? Because I want my friends to think I'm cool. <laughs> That's so funny. See the punch! I'm having a great time! <laughs> this production is everything! Yes, I knew she was gonna go there! This production! <laughs> oh, 
That one was so, so cute. I actually can't even deal. I did not expect that kind of message on this album. She's been the icon, hasn't she, for the outcast for the weirdos. I love that. Yes, Miss Gaga. I like her. Oh, fuck yeah. Next track. Let's just move along. Track number seven. Scheisse. German. I don't speak German, but I can if you like. Ow. I'll She's giving us languages. She's giving us bilingual on this album, right? Oi. What does Shiza mean? Isn't it shit? I think Shiza means shit. Oh, disc. What? Eh? Shiza means disc. That doesn't make sense. Disc. It says an. And Shiza means window. What is happening? Disc window. All right, let's not even question it. Let me know in the comments if it actually does mean that, because I'm questioning that a tad. Let's carry on. If you're a strong female, you don't need permission. Sorry, yes, I'm pausing again. Yes, bitch, these messages are fucking clear. If you're a strong female, you don't need permission. Feminist. I thought Shiza meant shit. But it's gonna struggle like a badass. Did she say fight for your rights? Nice, I love this bit. Guys. Once again, love that message. And I mean, obviously it's very evident that, evident, not evident, am I okay? It's pretty evident that obviously she's never lost the vocal. She's always had it, it's been the tea, do you know what I mean? So I kind of expect that from her. But but like I will say, this album really has demonstrated once again, the gorgeous vocals. I'm liking this. I'm liking the messages that she's giving us. All right, next track, Bloody Mary. <laughs> Okay. What is happening? This one's interesting. There's a slight disconnect so far for me. I'll say, I, I like both the production and her vocals and the singing, but I don't think they mesh for me so far. Like, I like both aspects, but are they going together well? Not really right now. I don't know. Okay, it's growing on me actually. This is fun. She said, fuck it, I didn't want to come up with any lyrics. <laughs> dun, dun, da, da, da. I love it. <laughs> The outros are always really strong, I've noticed. Okay, so I will say, I think that, like, even if a song is more questionable to me, like, the outros are always banging. Like, she always really gives me a really good outro. So, Bloody Mary was a perfect example. Kind of questionable for me, like, kind of throughout. It did start to grow me towards the end. Then the outro was really strong once again, and I really enjoyed the outro. I like aspects. Don't I don't like other aspects. That's kind of where I'm at right now with Bloody Mary. It is what it is. I appreciate it still. Let's just move on. Black Jesus and Amen Fashion. This is very different production so far. There it is. The production. I'm not understanding the connection between Amen Fashion and I Am Fashion, whatever she's saying, and then Black Jesus. I'm quite confused on the lyrical content so far, but the production, banger. I like this bit. The production. I like this bridge. This, makes, this reminds me of him, you and me, that gossip. Strut it out, walk a mile. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Anyone else? This bridge. Anyway. Black Jesus, Jesus is the new black. Ow! Okay. Okay, so I will say once again, by the end, I kind of 
grew, it grew on me again. But I just listened to this one for the production, to be honest. But the bridge definitely gave me Babylon vibes. Anybody else, please do comment down below. Once again, Black Jesus plus Amen Fashion isn't my fave. But I mean, let's be real, like, what is going to top, like, Judah, Spawn This Way? Do you know what I mean? What is going to top it? That's obviously why they got picked to be singles. So this does make sense. Next track, Bad Kids. Let's go. Okay, bitch, get them told. Once again, production is fucking killing me. What is her, what is her parents' problems? What? Nice. So she said fuck you, in your opinion. Hey, Brett. I mean, once again, this message is cute. Fuck. So she didn't, she didn't have a good relationship with her parents to begin with. I'm not sure what they're like now, obviously, but, um, fuck. All right. This one's... I don't know. I think with this one, it sounds kind of like something we've already heard on the album. Do you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't seem new. But I like the message again. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so Bad Kids love the message, love the vocals, love the vibe. It just doesn't sound original. Like, would I remember this out of the album? Probably not. Like, it's not a standout for me. Anyway, let's move on. Next track is Fashion of His Love. I was insecure. Out we all. It's human nature to, do, to be a little bit insecure for some capacity. Don't give yourself a hard time, Gaga. It's absolutely fine. Okay. Vocals. This bit. Ooh. Okay. So Fashion of His Love Loki gave me like, imagine in a film when a girl's like having her makeover done. If Brooke... And like, she's basically feeling herself, she's confident in a relationship, like this could be that for that movie, do you know what I mean? Like she's just walking down the street and everyone just randomly is just like dancing and starting clapping and stuff, do you know what I mean? I can, I can envision it. I like Fashion of His Love, it's cute. Next track, Highway Unicorn, Road of Love. Okay. Okay, we're getting another punchy production. Told you. Run, run with her top down. Drop. I will say, although like maybe a track maybe isn't my favourite, they've always smashed it with the production. That's one thing I will say. The production. Nice breakdown. Ooh, okay. So I'll definitely say for that one, like once again, the lyrical content kind of not meh, not my fave. But production, yes, 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 massive fucking yes. And vocals slayed me. Next track, Heavy Metal Lover. Okay. Like the production, are we hearing this? Did you hear what she said? She said, I want your whiskey mouth over lo all over my blonde south, I think she said. Okay. okay. This one's fucking dirty. Ooh, yeah. Here for it. Nice. I think, personally, for me, just my opinion, this one would have made a great interlude. I'm talking, like, a minute, a minute and a half long. Like, literally from, like, say, the bridge to the end of the song, that would have been the perfect interlude, and I feel like it would have packed a bit more of a punch. Just for me, personally, you guys don't have to agree, that's just what I think, and that's my thoughts. So, yeah. Let's continue. Next track is Electric Chapel. It's a very different sound from what we've had so far. Nice! What the fuck 
Jack's in an electric chapel. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like her lyrics are kind of crazy. Like, I feel, I feel like, like there's some songs where it like really makes sense and everything's like blatantly obvious and the message is cute. Do you know what I mean? But then there's some songs, and I feel like this is going to be one of them, where it's just like, it throws me off completely because I'm just like, what is an electric chapel? Electric chapel? I'm confused. But once again, production. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Nice. That one, production wise, is definitely a top, I feel like. That has got to be a top. Like I said, lyrics kind of confusing. Um, I didn't really listen to the lyrics much. Um, vocals, obviously, do I need to even say? We all know they're still here, they're still thriving. It's, it is what it is. So, next track, The Queen. Last one I haven't heard. Shit, this is a long one. This is five minutes and odd. Oh, I best not say that, you'll never come for me. Oh, so are we at, are we at the fucking chapel now? Because this sounds like we're at a chapel, or like a church. The switch ups! This one's such a different sound from the rest of the album, it's kind of throwing me off, but live for it. Gorgeous! Lovely! <sighs> okay, so the Queen gave me, like, ending energy. I don't know whether, like, the Queen was the initial end. I, am, I have no idea, but it gave me, like, last track on the album, Energy. But it was fucking cute. Don't get me wrong, the production was different to the rest of the album, but not in a bad way, like, I liked the difference. I just made me want to do this, the whole way through. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, but yeah. Anyway. Okay, next track, You and I, a track I've heard, a track I love. Let's be honest, she's a banger, without a doubt. Oh, oh, I do think you and I is also low-key slept on too. I just think it's, it, oh, just as really nice. You and I. Yeah, babes. Next track, last track on this album, The Edge of Glory. She's that bitch, we all know her. Let's listen, I haven't heard her in a while. Great track to finish the album, gotta say. Oh, it's just such a banger, such a bop. Oh my god. I will say, I think with this album, they definitely did a really good job of picking the singles. I feel like every single song that was a single that everyone knew before the album was the strongest from the album. I think that's the tea. I'm not sure if you guys are going to agree with that or want to fucking kill me, but that's the truth. I do feel like every single single, I'm talking about Marry the Night, Born This Way, Judas, You and I and Edge of Glory. I feel like all of those are the best songs from this album. Don't get me wrong, the rest of them aren't bad by any means. I've thoroughly enjoyed myself, but I do think they did a good good job with picking the top of the top, right? So, this brings us to the end of this reaction. Guys, I've gotta say, it's a strong album. Is it my favorite? No. I think this one, this one was very cohesive, but I think the vibe of art pop just suits my style more. It's a really good album, don't get me wrong, but I think the like the production style and the overall style of this album just isn't catered towards my style as much. I feel like art pop for me has more replay value, but I will definitely be listening to this whole album again. That's for fucking sure. Now that I've got my head out of my own asshole. Anyway, yeah, I think that's kind of all I've got to say on that album. Fun. The production was stellar throughout, of course. The vocals, need I even say, gorgeous. Lyrical content could be a hit or a miss, depending on 
personal preference and whether you understand it or not. For me, sometimes it missed, but sometimes it fucking hit. Do you know what I mean? What did you guys think on your initial listen, which must have been years ago, if you guys have been on this for a while? Hopefully you guys did enjoy this reaction. If you did, please do like, comment and subscribe. Please do make sure to let me know in the comments of this video any iconic albums that you think I should check out for this reaction. I've got plenty on my list, but I can always add more. But yeah, check me out on social media, they'll be on the screen here, floating around, and I will hopefully remember to put them in the description box of this video, all linked, so you can just go there. But yeah, I'll be back soon with another video. Until then, bye!